If you're shopping for a HomeKit Secure video and wondering if the Eufy Pan Tilt is the camera for you, in this video, we're gonna help you answer that question. Hey guys, Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek, the channel where we bring you new smart home content every single week, looking at Apple, HomeKit, Amazon, Google, and really anything that I find interesting. If you guys find that interesting, do me a favor, consider subscribing below and ring that bell to get notified when new videos are added. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the Eufy Pan Tilt 2K Cam. So why would you choose the Pan Tilt over some of the other options available right now? Number one, the price. The price on this really at about $60 US, it's gonna be hard to beat this as a camera. The price is really, really interesting. Uh, it is one of the least expensive cameras out there. I'm not gonna say cheapest because there is a ton of value in this. Number two reason why you would consider the Pan Tilt is right in the name of the product, Pan Tilt tilt. This does 360 degrees. It will spin around as you can see. It's also got about a 90 degrees up and down to be able to catch things that are on the ground or up above. So from a home kit standpoint, this is really the only pan tilt camera available right now. There are some things that you're going to need to be aware of with this particular camera, which we will cover in depth later in the video. The most important of is that the product name, although it's called 2K, will not do 2K in a home kit secure video mode. As well, as soon as you go into HSV mode, you're also going to lose some of the other functions of this camera, like the RTSP streaming, the built-in AI, pet detection, face detection, motion zones, all that stuff out the window as soon as you turn on HomeKit Secure Video. Now in their defense, it's not gonna be that bad in the near future as iOS 14 in beta, we've already seen motion zones, we've already seen facial recognition, there already is some pet recognition happening in HomeKit Secure Video. So although we're gonna be losing these features in the pan tilt on the Eufy side, we're still gonna be able to leverage those in Apple HomeKit. With that, let's take a look at the unboxing. The Eufy Indoor Cam 2K is the only pan tilt camera that I'm aware of that is HomeKit compatible at this point in time which is a pretty big deal, especially considering the price point has it around uh, approximately $60 US, if I'm not mistaken. This is a 2K with 125 degree field of vision, uh, 360 degree horizontal, 96 vertical uh, pan and tilt, night vision up to 10 meters away, two-way audio, home kit secure video, local storage, RTSP streaming, and object recognition, uh, which is pretty impressive considering the price point but there's always a catch, right? And there is with this camera as well. As soon as you turn on the Apple HomeKit functions, you're gonna lose some of the features of this camera, and that's important to be aware of so you know what you're getting into right from the start. Your 2K is gonna drop down to a 1080p because that's what Apple HomeKit Secure Video supports at this point in time. As well, the RTSP streaming is disabled once you're in Apple HomeKit mode and object recognition is no longer available. Interestingly enough though, you still can have it um, do the pan tilt, the motion tracking, and that is gonna to continue to work the automatic motion tracking of the camera even when you're in Apple HomeKit mode. So there are some, uh, there's some silver linings here. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is that this does not appear to be a limitation uh, on the part of Apple HomeKit, but rather some choices that the Eufy, the company, has made, which I think is actually understandable. Uh, to be honest, the object recognition, the motion tracking, motion zones, those kinds of things, we're going to get those back in iOS 14 anyways. So if the pan and tilt is a big deal to you, especially at the price point, this is still, I would say, a camera that I would be very happy having in my house. Let's take a look at the unboxing. So though Eufy is a relatively recent brand to support Apple HomeKit, uh, they definitely have a ton of security cameras that are really making a name for themselves in that particular category, right? The Eufy Pan Tilt is does not require the base station like the other uh, Eufy outdoor cameras do. Uh, this is really very similar to the 2K uh, indoor camera with the obvious addition that the pan and tilt has pan and tilt. So it's got the ability for the camera to spin around to do motion tracking as well as to go up and down, uh, really being able to make sure you can capture whatever is in the room. The camera here really has this kind of round shape, has the QR code and what appears to be an Apple HomeKit code. Uh, it's important to note that when I got this camera, I it actually did not have the home kit support on it yet. So that's one thing to be aware of here is that when you get this out of the box, you're gonna to have to support this in the Eufy app. As you can see here, the lens goes up and down and the head of the camera can turn left and right and uh, spin. So really, you're gonna be able to have this 
go in whatever direction you want, although the motion controls are not available when you're in Apple HomeKit mode either. So again, I cannot stress enough how many uh, things, how many of the features of this camera that make it such a compelling product at the price point, you're going to lose out on as soon as you go into Apple HomeKit mode. Now, we're going to get those back next year with iOS 14. You're going to get motion zones back. As I said, you're going to get uh, facial recognition, um, so pet recognition, things like that. It's going to get better over time as Apple really increases their features within Apple HomeKit Secure Video, but it's something to be aware of right now. If you're purchasing this with iOS 14, it's important to understand that a lot of these features are not going to be there. I assume as you put them in Apple HomeKit mode. So using the included uh, micro USB, we're gonna get this plugged in and start that setup. Again, we're gonna have to do that in the Eufy app in that this particular camera doesn't have the Apple HomeKit firmware loaded on it yet. So let's get started with that. So hopefully by the time you guys are seeing this video, uh, Eufy will be shipping with the Apple HomeKit compatible firmware on the camera. In my case, it wasn't released yet, right? That's uh, kind of the price we pay sometimes. But thankfully, the Eufy setup process really wasn't that bad. Really, you turn on the camera, you scan in the QR code, make sure that blue light is going, um, pull, hold down the setup button. When it flashes blue, you're going to hear a beep hear the beep, push the button, and from there it's going to use Bluetooth to connect to the camera. So you may be prompted here for permissions to use Bluetooth, which you're going to have to do because it's going to be using Bluetooth to transfer your Wi-Fi settings over to the Eufy camera. So once that's done, it should connect to your Wi-Fi network. And uh, really, that's about it. Your camera was now added successfully. Again, I've done a liberal amount of editing to speed up that entire process, but it shouldn't take you more than five minutes to get the camera up and running. So I'm going to give our camera a name. I'm just going to call this office because I really don't care at this point. Uh, I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put this later. And then it's going to take us through more. So in my case, there is no uh, micro SD card detected, which I'm not going to be doing local storage anyways. But I can enable cloud storage if I want. So in my case, I don't actually want cloud storage. I'm already paying for a HomeKit secure video. So why would I pay for more money, which is kind of the whole point of HomeKit secure video, uh, why would I pay more money to get my data in their cloud where they have control over my data, right? This is gonna make things a lot easier for me to be able to control my data, keep it private, nobody gets access to it, it's only for me, and I feel more secure in my house. So in addition to all the AI, pet detection, all that other stuff, you've also got the pan tilt controls within the Eufy app as well. So pan tilt is not available in HomeKit right now as far as those controls go, but what we can do is we can turn on the motion tracking of the camera within the Eufy app. So if you go into the camera settings and go into motion detection here, we're going to lose the activity zones, we're going to lose the AI, but if you turn on the motion detecting uh, automatically, even though you will not have the controls within HomeKit, the camera, the stream that you're getting will still continue to respond. So as you can see here, as I move around, the camera will, will start to follow me, right? Which is kind of a cool thing. This is how you get really that wide angle, um, up, down, uh, a really a, a much larger area than any of the other HomeKit cameras available right now. So full disclosure, my camera actually uh, crashed while recording the original um, edition of this to HomeKit. So I'm going to show this again because there are a couple of small uh, gotchas here, right? As you can see here, I can go in, I can see the camera, everything's ready to go, it's all set up, but there is a small issue. Indoor cam can't be add via home app directly. Enable HomeKit in UFI security. So this is where we get into some of the drawbacks of this particular camera. You're going to have to have this connected to the uh, Eufy app. That's just the way things are. Um, unlike some of the other cameras where you can add things directly into HomeKit. The other thing, this screen here, pause it, take a read through. You're going to lose your RTSP streams. You're going to lose your AI, your motion zones. All of those things that kind of make this camera powerful, you're going to lose as soon as you add this into HomeKit. Now, the good news is, is long term, that's not going to be such a big deal as iOS 14, at least in the betas. We do have uh, motion zones coming back in. We have AI, person detection, those kinds of things. But the RTSP stream, you're going to have to make a judgment call there whether or not that's important to you. So this is a HomeKit secure video camera. As you can see, I can add on the stream and allow recording here if I so choose. Let's tap that twice. 
and it's just going to kind of work, right? You'll get the notifications up above. And at this point now, we're, we're using the iCloud uh, feature, which Again, you're going to e need either the 200 gig one camera or two terabyte uh, five camera plan to be able to get the HomeKit secure video. And once you've done that, everything is in HomeKit secure video. It tells you all about how this is going to work. Um, quite a clean process right now. Uh, again, with the watermark piece, you can have the timestamp and logo or just the timestamp. So this is going to be also shown on your videos within HomeKit. Nice little addition there, considering that we have seen in the past some issues with HomeKit uh, creating the wrong timestamps on the cameras on the on the video streams right so again uh pretty simple it's a camera it's a home kit secure camera again this is the only pan tilt available right now and at least with that motion tracking with that motion zone piece you can see that it's uh moving around here which is kind of nice so what do I think of the Pantil camera? I'm actually a big fan of this camera. For the price point, it's really hard to go wrong with it. Uh, to be honest, the, the pan tilt, just amazing. The fact that it'll follow 360 degrees. I do wish that Apple had controls for pan tilt cameras. Seeing as this is the only one though, it's kind of hard to blame Apple for that one. I do love the fact that you can turn on the motion detection of the Eufy in the Eufy app, and it will still continue to display like that with the Apple uh, within the Apple HomeKit Secure Video. The other thing I do like about this as well is the ability to do timestamps, which is available on the 2K Indoor, as well as the Pan Tilt. So just in case your clock gets messed up, we have seen some bugs in Apple HomeKit Secure Video where the videos get mislabeled as far as their time. Having that ability to do a timestamp is a nice thing. From a overall camera standpoint it doesn't have the best field of view it doesn't have the best picture quality but for the price point it is an enormous amount of value so if you're just looking to put something around the house this is definitely something you would want to consider in my opinion and with that if I missed anything, you got any questions I didn't answer, do me a favor, post those below in the comments and I will be happy to get back to you as quickly as I can. So do me a favor, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell to be notified when new videos are posted. Likes and shares are always appreciated. And right about now, here or here, YouTube should be showing you some videos that they think you might be interested in next. See you soon.